what a surprise I had tonight when I walked into the room in the back and saw Larry and Melva Lee. Come here, Larry. we came in this evening, I was reminded of the scripture that says how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Then the last part of the psalm says, for there God commanded the blessing. There's a commanded blessing on this service tonight. The miracles that your heart have cried for, I really believe, are available in this place tonight. One reason is because of the brethren dwelling together in unity. I remember sitting in a restaurant in Orlando, Florida with my dad and Benny, his wife. We sat there and I said, Benny, God has put an anointing on your life to do great healing crusades. We talked about it that night, do you remember? And I pray tonight that you understand what I'm about to say. But I love Benny because he had the courage to step out on what he knew to be a word of God in his life. And any time you step out on what you know to be God's word to you, you'll find Jesus out there on the water. I trust tonight that the commanded blessing of the Lord will be commanded your way tonight. I want to say one other thing, and it's a plea from my heart. Today, as I saw the great crowds coming in, I began to just explode with thanksgiving to the Lord. And then I began to explode with intercession. There are two voices in heaven. One is the voice of an accuser, but there's also the voice of an intercessor. And tonight, I just want to say I rebuke the accuser in the name of Jesus. I rebuke him. Jesus. For all of God's people with Malva and with me, I side with the intercessor. I'm on his side. And I beseech you, my friends, to lift up the arms of God's servant tonight and continue to lift up his arms as Benny Hinn comes to lead this service every time you remember him would you join with me because I'm making a commitment tonight at every remembrance of my brother and all my brothers to rebuke the accuser and release the intercessor in the name of Jesus Benny I love you God has commanded a blessing This wonderful man and his wife Melva have been friends of ours for a long time. And Larry, in this very building years ago, God Almighty did something for Larry Lee. And Larry was launched out and has come against the forces of hell. Ladies and gentlemen, what we're seeing today is because this man has been plowing and teaching us to plow. You can't you can see a harvest till somebody plows. I want you to stand up, all of you, and tell him, Larry, we're with you and we love you. anointed voices and you dear man you know 
Remain standing a second, would you please? Because I want to do something. It's not by accident he's here tonight. He's doing something I cannot do. Frankly, I won't do. That's not my calling. I'm glad it's yours. You know something, Larry? I'm right behind you. And Larry Lee is our brother. And because he's our brother, we've got to support him in every way. You can watch his programs on television. People, Benny Hinn would not be what he is if it wasn't for Larry Lee. And tonight here you are getting blessed. And you don't know that there was a man God raised and still using mightily that's plowing new territory, breaking new heart, new grounds. And people like me and others can get in there Till somebody's been in there doing the sweating and the working and beating devils and crippling them. And we come in and see the blessings. So Larry, keep plowing. And we're going to stand behind you, Larry. And now I want you all to stretch your hands towards this man of God. And say, Larry, we love you. We're behind you all the way. We'll pray for you. This is a vow we make tonight. We'll pray for you every day. And we won't quit praying till every devil has been defeated, every principality has been broken. And every soul has been one. And we'll stand together on that day. In the presence of the master. And we're going to hear him say. Larry.